Welcome back. If you're anything like me, or probably anyone else, when you go to find something to buy, you want something unique. And if you want to think about the word unique, you've got to think about the Grand Village right here in Branson. And here's somebody who can tell us all about it, Pam Critchfield. Always good to see you, Pam. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, you know, we were talking a little bit earlier, and Grand Village has been here for a little while, almost to the point where... You know, all the folks around here are like family. We are. It's, it's such a great feeling in this center. Each of the shops has its own unique flavor. Oh, yeah. And it looks reminiscent of Charleston. Mm -hmm. And it's just meandering little walkways and all kinds of beautiful little boutique style shops. And they're all locally owned and locally operated. See, that's one of the great things about it. You know you're getting something that it's people who live here, who have work here, whose families are here. This is what this village is about. It really is a village. It really is a village. And one of my favorite things is first thing in the morning mm -hmm. when I come out here to visit the merchants and you see everything opening up and it's got that feel of you know them sweeping the sidewalks and them you know yeah. opening their door and flipping the open the we're open now sign and it's just something special about it. We have um, one of the people that I think you're going to talk to later on, or someone is, Mel's with Mel's Hard Luck Diner and mm -hmm. Kringle Shops and TJ Charleston's. He's been here with us for over 20 years. Yeah. And we have a lot of shops that have been here over 20 years. Mulberry Mill, you know, they have samples in Mulberry Mill. I have to tell you, you got to be careful there. <laughs> got to be careful there for the samples. You got to be careful at Mel's because he makes the biggest ice cream known to man. Yeah. And Sugar Leaf Bakery, everything's homemade and. They are known for their cakes and pies and stuff. Well, on, on, on all of that, you see real artisans that are around here at the village. You know, we're right by the Inglers. wood shop. Yeah, yeah Inklers. Peter Engler, famous in Branson. Um, we miss him. He's no longer with us. Mm -hmm. But Mary, who was worked under his tutelage, runs the shop. And it's wood carvings. And people take home, especially, you know, those little hand-carved Santas around oh, Christmas yeah. time. And they collect them. And we're full of things like that. We've got Grand Glitz, which has fabulous clothing mm -hmm. for, for women and fabulous shoes and boots, which... You know, I'm, I seem to be able to partake in that. A really lot of well. people like the shoes and yeah, boots idea, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we have quirky shoes, we have, you know, we have the medic spa, we have back in time toys. Oh my gosh, Tom. Oh, yeah. Those toys are toys you, you and I remember, and the cool thing is nothing is electronic. Mm -hmm. And you have to play with things, you it do. doesn't play by itself. And yeah. there's board games, yeah. and there's Tinker Toys and there's Lincoln Logs. Stuff that lasts. Fun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can eat you can even bring old toys in and they'll trade. Wow. And you, we have a lot of people that come here for and they end up deciding that they want to send their toys in. They want someone else to enjoy them now. Mm -hmm. So we have that. We have a tea shop that's second to none. Copper copper coin lady. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness, she has great stories. We have a new gentleman and his wife who opened a jewelry store called Javeau, and he is a veteran. He goes by Sarge, yeah. and making this jewelry is actually therapy, and it has helped him so he doesn't have any problems anymore. Sure, sure. And you get to know those stories, exactly. and you and go that's, see them. And that's why this is so much like a village. Everybody's kind of pulling for everybody else, and like a village. And it, I've noticed, you know, it, people just like to stroll and see what's around, but spend some time here and just you can while away right. time. Exactly. Exactly. Lori Soap Shop, another favorite. I mean, I I spend my money here. Mm -hmm. I not only represent the Grand Village, but I spend my money here. I just love it. I, you know, a lot of people do their shopping on the internet, which I understand that. Sure, sure, sure. sure. But when you're on vacation, do yourself a favor. And, and, lo and the locals, too. Come out to the Grand Village. Enjoy what it's like to do business with someone that is your friend and is your neighbor. And it's just what you said. One of the nicest things you can say about, you know, the, the village is that local shop here. Oh, they do. And that, that says a big thing. It's, you know, people from here shop here. They know the value. They know the enjoyment. And you can, you can get yourself an ice cream and sit out with an umbrella over you and just while away some time. It, mm -hmm. it is relaxing. Different than any other shopping center 
I, I've not been to a shopping center like this. It before. is unique, as I said at the beginning. And was, Everything is unique. It was built originally by Silver Dollar City um, because they had the Rockettes coming in, the sure. Grand Palace, which is no longer, but the, um, they needed a place for people to see the gra craftsmen mm -hmm. and things like that in between shows. And, and they're all right are. here at the here Grand Village. Are, 20 plus years later. Tell people where they find the Grand Village when they're coming down 76 Highway. We are just located in the in the middle of Highway 76, right next door to what's going to be the hottest new attraction next year, the aquarium. The aquarium. All right. So thank you so much for coming in. Sure, visiting thanks us. for having us here. You've got to come to the Grand Village. Beautiful shops. It is. It's a village. Come and join the village. Yes.